son of a wife. I'll kill you. Did you know that Michael Douglas was one of the first alleged first ever celebrity to ever go into sex rehab? Or that Tallulah Bankhead used to host parties entirely in the nude? Want to find out more? Well, you're in luck, as we'll be taking a look at the top 15 sex addicts in Hollywood history. Stick around for the wildest of them all. Starting off strong in our number 15 spot is the aforementioned Michael Douglas. If you don't recognize the name, you'll certainly recognize a couple of the films he's been in. Basic Instinct, Fatal Attraction, Wall Street. These are just a few of the movies in which Douglas has delivered a stunning performance. I think you're terrific. Though the actor started out, as all aspiring stars do, with small-time roles, he finally made his first breakthrough on the 1969 CBS Playhouse special, and he's been on an upward trajectory as both an actor and a producer. Well, almost. You see, Douglas also has some skeletons in his closet that he would not like to see the light of the day again. Besides giving him a name as a credible actor, Douglas' works have had the added and likely unwanted effect of painting him as a sex addict in the eyes of the public. This notion is perpetuated mostly by the hypersexual nature of the characters he played in movies like Fatal Attraction and Basic Instinct, as well as the actor's two marriages, the second of which was to Catherine Zeta-Jones, a woman 25 years his junior. Though this hasn't helped to paint Mike as an all-round clean guy in the eyes of the public, he wouldn't be on this list for just hearsay. Remember what we said in the intro? Well, Michael Douglas reportedly checked himself into a sex addiction hospital for rehab during his first marriage to Deandra Luca, basically pioneering the act for all Hollywood. According to the HuffPost, Douglas reportedly stated the following about the rehabilitation in his biography written by John Parker. Sex is just a wave that sweeps over me, an impulse that is overpowering. I'm helpless every time. Hmm, sounds a whole lot like an addiction to me. Though the actor denies that he had any problems with sex addiction, there's a good chance he feels that way because there isn't really a word for the concept in those times. After all, according to that very same HuffPost article, Mike's father, Kirk Douglas, says rather casually, what's wrong with sex addiction? I've been addicted to sex my whole life. There's a whole lot more to say about Mike Douglas' situation, such as the cause of a certain cancer he battled with for a while, but we'll leave him be for now. Now that that's over up next on our list is a case that's a bit more intricate than Mike Douglas's and far more controversial. Jane Mansfield had many jobs in her life, an actress, a model, a nightclub entertainer, an esteemed member of the Playboy, the list goes on. However, none of these things is what she was really known for. Let me explain. Mansfield has a fine repertoire under her belt in terms of movies. She's won several awards for her contributions to television, including a Golden Globe Award for New Star of the Year for her performance in The Girl Can't Help It. However, Mansfield was known more as her role as a sex symbol in the Hollywood at the time than she was as an actor. With her voluptuous figure, she, along with Marilyn Monroe, Betty Grable, and Mamie Van Doren, pioneered the dumb blonde aesthetic that prevailed in Hollywood for a long time afterwards. A lot can be said about Mansfield's story. For one thing, the actress was addicted to a lot of different things. Alcohol and narcotics were major players in this, but so also was the seldom talked about in that era sex addiction. All three of Jane's marriages dissolved in no small part due to a series of numerous extramarital affairs. Above all this, however, what the blonde bombshell was truly addicted to was publicity. Many described her as hounding after it, but not making the best show of it. Willing to do anything to turn a few heads, it wasn't uncommon for Mansfield to have a totally unplanned wardrobe malfunction while in public viewings. 
This combination of addictions is what led up to her final relationship before her untimely death with head of the Church of Satan at the time, Anton Levay. Next on our list was also a member of the Playboy magazine series, albeit at a much later time than her blonde predecessor. But who was she? Karian Panisha is a model, actress, and former beauty queen known for her appearances on reality TV shows like Sex Rehab with Dr. Drew and Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew. She gained attention as Miss United States teen in 2003 and later posed for Playboy. Her public life was marked by controversies and personal struggles, including issues with substance abuse, Paniche's erratic behavior and tumultuous experiences in the entertainment industry often made headlines, showcasing the challenges faced by individuals navigating fame and personal demons within the public eye. Her appearances on the aforementioned reality TV shows is actually the reason why she's likewise making an appearance on this list. In case the title didn't tip you off, Sex Rehab with Dr. Drew was a show primarily centered around helping celebrities to overcome and work through their sex addictions and come out better for it in the end. It was probably not the best idea to televise the celebrities' journeys, but beggars can't be choosers except when you're Karianne Panici. The actress refused to comply with the set rules of the show and questioned their methods of rehabilitating and was removed from the show as a result. However, she did eventually get rehab from a proper institution, albeit for a different addiction this time. Coming up next on our list is popular singer-songwriter Eric Bennett, Bennett gained prominence for his soulful voice and smooth melodies at the tail end of the 20th century coming into the 21st. Born Eric Bennett Jordan, he embarked on a successful music career marked by albums like True to Myself and A Day in the Life, showcasing his talent for crafting romantic ballads and heartfelt lyrics. His 1999 album A Day in the Life garnered acclaim and featured the hit single Spend My Life With You, a duet with Tamiya that soared on music charts. Beyond his musical achievements, Benet faced public scrutiny due to his highly publicized marriage to actress Halle Berry, which ended in divorce in 2005, which brings us neatly over to his reason for being on this list. The divorce between the two caused such a massive uproar in the entertainment world. At the time before the divorce was announced, Bennett came out publicly and state that he had cheated on his wife and it was due to an addiction to humping, as the singer put it. He proceeded to check himself into a sex addiction rehab center for about a month to show Halle he was serious about remaining committed to the relationship. Despite his best efforts, the divorce still went through and both parties have long since moved on from each other. Interestingly enough, the singer seems to have very different views on the situation than when he first started out. As the story goes now, Bennett simply went to the sex rehab center to fulfill all of righteousness and improve his chances of getting Halle Berry to forgive him. He says what he had was not a sex addiction, but an isolated event. Regardless of the personal setbacks, he continued to excel in the music industry, releasing albums like Hurricane and The One, solidifying his position as a respected figure in contemporary R&B. Bernard's legacy remains defined by his musical prowess and perseverance in navigating personal challenges while staying true to his craft. Hope you can handle the heat. Our next on the list is known for being extra spicy. Elizabeth Taylor, an iconic Hollywood actress, had been captivating audiences with her beauty, talent and glamour since all the way back in the mid 20th century. Renowned for her violet eyes and magnetic presence on screen, Taylor starred in timeless classics like Cleopatra, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Taylor's talent earned her two Academy Awards for Best Actress, cementing her status as a cinematic legend. 
Though she has carried out works and many philanthropic endeavors, including her advocacy for AIDS victims, much of her popularity came from the long shadow spread by the excesses of her personal life. Her series of eight marriages drew the public eye far more than her philanthropic efforts, or her acting for that matter, ever did. She was able to impart such numbers in part due to how early she started, a sheltered innocent life in Bond Street, London, and a series of homeschooling had instilled the idea that marriage and love came hand in hand and as such, whoever she married, she would love. This theme led to a lot of her marriages and a lot of divorces. Her first marriage, her first husband, Conrad Hilton Jr. At 18 years old, she quickly divorced him after being exposed to his more violent tendencies and moved on to her next husband, Michael Wilding, just one year later. She also divorced him. However, it's with her third marriage and onwards that her addictions and excesses started to play a role. What followed was a series of weddings to men who she'd cheated on the previous husband in the line with. It's almost as if her sense of what a wedding was made her feel obligated to wed these men she was with in infidelity, men she was with due to a lack of control over her addiction. Other addictions cropped up later down in her life. Though it was not a pretty sight, it's a solid example of how a series of addictions can greatly alter a person's public image and not for the better. In our number 10 spot, we've got the second person we mentioned in the intro, the illustrious Talula Bankhead. Who better to kick off our top 10 than the most glamorous gal of the 30s? Talula, a magnetic and audacious actress, dominated the stages of Broadway and screens during the early 20th century. Known for her husky voice, wit, and flamboyant persona, she captivated audiences in productions like The Little Foxes and Lifeboat. Bankhead's uninhibited lifestyle and provocative behavior defied societal norms, contributing to her legendary status as a free-spirited icon. Her talent and fearlessness in tackling controversial roles defined her career. It's not hard to see how someone with such an extroverted and uninhibited lifestyle would fall prey to such addictions as the one we're talking about today. Though, of course, once again during her time, it was not really viewed as such. Thankfully, we don't need to scrounge for details that hinted at her addiction. The actress was very open about her exploits. Bankhead had had so many affairs that she once famously complained about going too long without one during a rare and momentary dry spell for her. Being the flamboyant person she was, Talula threw many, many parties, and if sources are to be believed, she answered a good number of them in nothing but a smile. Her sexual exploits weren't limited to men either. Many of the women in her life also similarly had relationships with Bankhead. Her PEA, actress Patsy Kelly, confirmed the two had a sexual relationship while she was under her wing. Tulala herself did not like using the word lesbian, however, and preferred to call herself ambisextrous. Beyond her theatrical prowess, her charisma and unabashed individuality left an indelible mark on entertainment history, forever immortalizing her as an enigmatic and unconventional Hollywood star. Following from the illustrious Bankhead in our number nine spot is someone who could almost compete with her predecessor on this list in terms of sheer trailblazing. Clara Bow, a vivacious and pioneering actress, epitomized the Roaring Twenties spirit as a leading silent film star. Known as the It Girl, her charisma, natural charm, and expressive acting style propelled her to fame in movies like It and Wings. Bo's magnetic on-screen presence and ability to embody the modern independent woman captivated audiences worldwide. Rising from a tumultuous childhood, she became a symbol of the era's flapper culture, setting fashion trends and redefining Hollywood glamour. Her fame peaked in 1931, when at the age of 28, she chose to leave the film business amid a whirlwind of scandalous rumors. Nevertheless, 
It's important to remember that a lot of these alleged scandals had their origins in the romanticism of the past, a movement that Bao, like her contemporaries, enthusiastically embraced. According to an article from The Hairpin, Bao, like many other famous women of her era, considered her ties with the men in her life, the majority of whom she most likely had close relationships with, to be engagements. Bao was also at the center of other scandals, including as the well-publicized claim that she had relationships with every member of the USC football team. Her secretary also took personal documents from her, and she tried to use these records as leverage by accusing her of being inebriated all the time and of other transgressions. Despite her success, personal struggles and the advent of sound films led to her retirement in the early 1930s. Clara Bow remains an enduring icon of the silent film era, celebrated for her talent, beauty, and groundbreaking contributions to cinema. Up next is the critically acclaimed actress and dancer Louise Brooks. Brooks, an emblematic figure of the silent film era, remains an enduring icon known for her unparalleled beauty, distinct bobbed hair, and enigmatic allure. Born in 1906, the Kansas-born actress revolutionized the cinematic landscape with her captivating performances in films like Pandora's Box and Diary of a Lost Girl. Brooks's magnetic screen presence, coupled with her ability to portray complex, independent female characters, challenged societal norms and propelled her to international stardom. Beyond her on-screen persona, her candidness, intellect and non-conformist attitude set her apart in an era of conformity. Despite a relatively short-lived Hollywood career, Brooks' impact reverberates through cinematic history, influencing fashion and redefining notions of femininity and independence, making her an eternal symbol of the liberated modern woman during the early days of cinema's evolution. And liberated she was in many aspects of her life, including the people she brought to her bed. She admitted to being a sexually liberated woman who was open to trying all sorts of new things in and out of the bedroom. Alongside her natural infidelity, this was a contributing factor to the many dalliances she had both in and out of her two marriages. Much like Talula Bankhead, Brooks also had sexuality concerns surrounding her. However, she affirmed vehemently that she was not a lesbian or bisexual, despite having multiple relations with women. If you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe. Sliding in at number seven is the screenplay and writer Barbara Lamar. Lamar, a luminary of the silent film era, captivated audiences with her mesmerizing beauty, unmatched charisma, and multifaceted talent. Born in 1896, she emerged as a force in Hollywood, dazzling in films like The Three Musketeers and The Prisoner of Zender. Lamar's allure wasn't confined to the screen. Her off-screen persona as a poet, screenwriter and fashion icon further cemented her status as a cultural phenomenon. Recognized for her risque and seductive roles, she challenged the constraints of her time, defying societal norms with her boldness and sophistication. Much like many others on this list, Lamar's sex addiction was never really diagnosed as such due to the outlook on the concept of sex for her time. Though Lamar is said to have had five husbands, it was never really confirmed whether or not her first husband, Jack Lattell, was actually married to her. He unfortunately died just three weeks into the marriage. Lamar rose quickly to fame and jumped from husband to husband. Her love life was a thing of wonder and great controversy, with many believing her constant divorces and marriages were in some way due to her seductive nature a need for multiple men. Despite her rapid rise to fame, personal struggles and a tumultuous lifestyle shadowed her career. Tragically, her life was cut short at the age of 29 due to health complications, leaving behind a legacy that reverberates through Hollywood history. 
Barbara Lamar's indelible mark on cinema endures as a symbol of glamour, talent, and the tempestuous nature of fame in the early days of the film industry. In our number six spot for the day is Joan Collins. Joan Collins, an iconic British actress, epitomized sophistication and glamour, gracing both stage and screen with her captivating presence. Born in 1933, Collins gained prominence for her roles in film and television, notably portraying the cunning and glamorous Alexis Carrington in the popular 1980s series Dynasty. Her magnetic charisma and elegant allure made her a global fashion icon. Collins's career spanned several decades, showcasing her versatility in roles ranging from dramatic performances to comedic turns. Her tenacity and resilience in navigating the entertainment industry reinforced her status as a legendary figure. She was also something of a legend in other aspects as well. Joan had a whopping five husbands to her name. Her first husband she divorced due to an attempted rape on her. Her next relationship, however, was to famous promiscuous actor Warren Beatty. We'll be seeing him in a bit. Unsurprisingly, she left him due to charges of infidelity. All other of her marriages were divorced due to charges of infidelity on one or both parties. Beyond her acting achievements, Collins delved into writing, penning best-selling novels and memoirs. Her embodiment of timeless elegance and her unwavering commitment to her craft cemented her as a celebrated Hollywood star, leaving an indelible legacy as an emblem of grace, talent, and enduring style in the world of entertainment. We finally broke into our top five, and who better to start us off than the blonde bombshell herself, Marilyn Monroe. Now, Monroe's been known all over for a lot of things. Her image has changed and evolved over time from a sex symbol to the 1950s America, a pioneer for the dumb blonde aesthetic and a delectable actress in her own right. Unfortunately, Monroe also struggled with sex addiction alongside her illustrious career. Monroe has had many sexual partners, however it is less known that she was actually molested and sexually abused as a child. This incident unfortunately acted as a stepping stone that opened the doors towards sexual addiction for her. She bravely spoke publicly about her condition when asked and talked about how she has struggled with the consequences of her actions. Monroe's case of addiction really expands on the idea of sexual addiction not as a desire for sex in itself, but as a longing for intimacy and the use of sex to take the place of that intimacy as opposed to love and strong, long-lasting relationships. Over the years, Monroe had multiple sexual partners, but when looking at all of them through this lens, it is no wonder that she never bore any children with any of them. Though some might say it wasn't in the cards for her, it's clear to see that she would not bear children while still struggling with her addiction to sex. Ultimately, her addiction to other narcotics coupled with the pressure fame wrought led to her untimely death, leaving us wondering what might have been had she been able to resolve her addictions. If you have any doubt as to whether or not this guy should be on this list, then you'll be shocked to find that he bedded not one, two, but three people on this list. Some even say he managed to take the illustrious Monroe, who we covered in the list beforehand. Frank Sinatra, often dubbed Old Blue Eyes, was an iconic figure in 20th century music and entertainment. Born in 1915, Sinatra's legendary career spanned over five decades, leaving an indelible mark on the music industry. Renowned for his velvety voice and unparalleled phrasing, he became a symbol of musical excellence, with hits like My Way, Fly Me to the Moon, and New York, New York. His talent transcended music. Sinatra was also a prolific actor, starring in acclaimed films such as From Here to Eternity and The Manchurian Candidate. His magnetic charm and charismatic persona earned him a place among Hollywood's elite. Despite this, though Sinatra's life was punctuated by controversies, alliances with political figures, and tumultuous relationships, the last of which was in part due to his overactive sex drive. 
Sinatra just couldn't keep it in his pants. Much like the case with Michael Douglas, who we covered first, Sinatra had an uncontrollable impulse for sex, and most especially three ways. His then wife, Nancy Barbato, claimed to tolerate his infidelity because she knew where his heart was. That all quickly changed when the famous singer started chasing after Ava Gardner's skirts. Safe today, they divorced shortly after. Despite personal ups and downs, his influence on music and entertainment remains unparalleled, solidifying his legacy as one of the greatest entertainers in history, revered for his artistic brilliance and cultural impact. We're finally broaching our top three, and we're kicking it off with the cowboy heartthrob, Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood, an enduring Hollywood legend, carved his legacy as a multifaceted artist, acclaimed actor, director, and producer. Born in 1930, Eastwood gained fame through iconic roles in westerns like The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and as Dirty Harry in the eponymous series. His stoic, tough guy persona became synonymous with cinematic excellence. Beyond his acting prowess, Eastwood's directorial talents garnered widespread acclaim with films like Unforgiven, Million Dollar Baby, and Mystic River earning critical acclaim and numerous awards, showcasing his versatility behind the camera. Throughout his career, Eastwood's dedication to storytelling and exploration of complex themes resonated with audiences worldwide. Despite occasional controversies, his impact on cinema remains profound, establishing him as a revered figure in the industry. Eastwood's enduring career and artistic contributions solidify his place as an icon in Hollywood history, celebrated for his remarkable talent and cinematic achievements. All his contributions to Hollywood serve to paint a picture of Clint as this all-round guy but that all does a complete 180 in his personal life and his relationships. Eastwood was a staunch sex addict, amassing up to over 28 confirmed relationships and an assortment of eight children within all those. Lana Turner, an enduring Hollywood icon, illuminated the silver screen with her beauty, grace and acting prowess throughout the mid 20th century. Born in 1921, Turner's career soared with standout performances in classics like The Postman Always Rings Twice and Peyton Place. Her signature style and captivating presence earned her the nickname The Sweater Girl, captivating audiences with her timeless elegance. Beyond her on-screen success, Turner's personal life often made headlines, marked by tumultuous relationships and publicized scandals. It is through the lens of these scandals and her love life that the truth of her sex addiction can be unveiled. Turner had a number of relationships in her lifetime, amongst which were eight marriages, one of those to the same man. Throughout and in between these marriages, she also had a number of carnal relationships besides. According to the Daily Mail, Frank Sinatra, one of her many lovers, claimed it was all she could think about sometimes. He said, she seemed uninterested in anything other than going to bed. If I tried to engage her in small talk, she was indifferent. World events. Forget it. She didn't want to talk about movie making or her career or mine, and she definitely wasn't interested in my family life. All she wanted was to have sex with me, and as often as possible. If this was but one of her many lovers, imagine how she treated the rest. Despite having only one biological child, Cheryl Crane, Turner was said to have many abortions covered up by her business manager, Benton Cole. Despite the roller coaster of fame, Turner's talent and enduring charm solidified her status as a Hollywood legend. Her cinematic contributions and ability to embody the epitome of glamour continue to enchant audiences, leaving an everlasting imprint on the golden age of Hollywood told you we'd be seeing him again. In our number one spot for the day is Warren Beatty. Warren Beatty, a prominent actor, director, producer, and Hollywood icon, 
emerged as a multifaceted talent during the late 20th century. Born in 1937, Beatty's career spanned decades, marked by critically acclaimed performances in films such as Bonnie and Clyde, Reds and Heaven Can Wait. His magnetic charm and versatility earned him widespread acclaim. Beyond his acting prowess, Beatty showcased his directorial genius in movies like Reds, huh? uh -uh. You're wrong. which garnered him multiple Academy Awards. Known for his meticulous attention to detail, he became synonymous with cinematic excellence, both in front of and behind the camera. Throughout his career, Beatty's personal life and relationships often made headlines, adding to his enigmatic persona. The actor famously made the claim that he slept with a new woman every day from when he was 20 till he married Annette Benning at the ripe old age of 55. From this claim, this would mean that he allegedly slept with over 10,000 women throughout this period. Despite occasional controversies, his contributions to cinema and commitment to storytelling remain unparalleled. Warren Beatty's lasting impact on film and his dedication to the craft solidify his place as an esteemed figure in the annals of Hollywood history. So that's our list of the top 15 sex addicts in old Hollywood history. Did you know a few of these? Too old for you? Or are you an expert in the old Hollywood scene? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, you'll love the one showing on your screen. Click now and we'll see you in the next one.